Hey, you. Who, me? <laughs> or him? No, you with the pigtails, <laughs> duh. Me? Do you want to know a little um, bit more about high school and college? Maybe. You seem a little lost and a little confused. Okay, you can't say anything. I'm just starting off school. So, it's always good to have advice from someone with experience. Well, some experience at least. But, can I not bring my dog to high school? Why do I need advice and, you know, high school things when my dog can just give me advice? Well, you could just watch this video and still learn a couple more things. I mean, it won't hurt. Right, I'll listen. Let's face it, I am not the best person when it comes to acting or talking or narrating. But, how do you guys like that skit? Hope you liked it. Anyways, hey, what's up? It's Alexandria, back with another video for you guys today. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some nice, wonderful college slash high school things that I wish somebody told me before I started high school slash college. So if you are interested in learning about that or just interested in watching me make a fool of myself this entire video, then keep watching. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with tip number one. Number one, you want to make sure that you are always thinking about your future when you are a freshman in high school and a freshman in college. Because let's face it, your future is forever changing and you're never ever going to have the same mindset you did a year ago. So you're continuously going to keep changing and you're going to keep changing your mind and you're going to keep changing it and you keep changing it and you're going to keep changing it. Let's be honest, keep thinking about the future, keep thinking about positive energy and just attracting all the goodness and positivity into your life. So highly recommend you do that for the entire time you are a freshman throughout your high school and college career. But isn't that a, like a lot of thinking? Can I not like, you know, not think about my future? Can I not just like enjoy life and have fun and play with my dog because he wants to keep playing with me? And can I not bring him to school? And that goes on to tip number two. Don't forget to enjoy life, have fun, even while you're thinking about the future because I was the kind of person that was always scared and didn't take chances and seriously stayed secluded. And I wish honestly someone told me to like have fun, live my life and just be happy the entire time. So I highly suggest you, while you're thinking of the future, be happy and live your life. Number three, communicate with your friends, your peers, your teachers, everywhere you go, even in college and in high school. So in high school, you wanna make sure that you're always talking to your friends, always communicating with the counselors, build good relationships with your teachers, and have a good, good relationship with the people around you because you never know who you're gonna meet, you never know who you're gonna to talk to, and you never know what kind of lifelong friends you will make. Tip number four, time management. Time management is important. When you are in high school, learn time management. Get those assignments done a week early. Get them turned in on time. When you're in college, the professor does not wait for you to turn anything in. You might get lucky, you might not. Some professors will be really lenient, some won't. But you need to have your time management down. Especially in college, they make you read like 15 page chapters and the chapters are like long. So you wanna make sure you have your time management down when you're in high school. Tip number five, money management. Money management is extremely important, especially when you are in college because tuition is not cheap. Housing is not cheap. Food should be free, but it is not cheap. So when you are in high school and you have that first job, make sure you are saving for college. Unless you're really lucky, really smart, really intelligent, get a full scholarship and they pay for everything, then you need to save your money. Also, it's really good for the future anyways, because what if you want to have a house one day? What if you want to have kids or something? You need to manage your money and you need to manage your time. And you kind of just need to have all your finances together. So maybe talk to a financial advisor when you're in college or talk to a financial advisor when you're in high school. They don't really teach anything about finance and income and stuff in high school. I really wish they did because that's important and that's something that, you know, a lot of parents don't really teach their kids. And if you're in college, take a finance class. It's always good to educate yourself on things that are going on and it's just really good to educate yourself. All right, and my last tip is don't worry about the person next to you. What's up? Focus on yourself, that's all I'm saying. So if you focus on yourself all the time, you will always be happy and you will never see anyone as a competition. That's something you should really learn early in life and a lot of people don't even learn that 
even when they're like 40s and 50 year old they will compare their kids to other people's kids or they will compare their self and their situation to other people's situations and i think that's honestly terrible to do it it ruins your self-esteem it ruins your self-confidence you have extra insecurities you have extra anxiety like let's be completely honest don't even compare yourself to anyone because you are the only constant in your life and you are going to be the one that lives with your decisions and you're going to be the one who at the end of the day is going to be the one living your life so don't let anybody live your life stop comparing yourself because you want to build your confidence you want to build your security and you want to be secure with yourself and love yourself and just you know be happy with who you are so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys take this advice into consideration because let's face it we all need some advice and if you guys have any more tips and tricks for anybody else starting out college or starting out high school you can leave those tips down below for them and i will be back next time with another video love you guys so much bye Baby, wait, I know that you're afraid, but it'll